Good evening to each and every one of you and welcome to Wednesday's edition of your Manchester. I'm back, Flowers. I've had a little holiday, but I'm back, everybody. And I am fully here to tell you we've got an amazing show tonight for you. Yes, we're talking beauty tonight and we've got two beauty people on the show. Yes, indeed. We're going to be speaking a little while's time to the legend that is Miss Harriet Thorpe. She embarks upon a marvellous tour of Steel Magnolias. You might remember that. It was a beautiful, beautiful film and uh, it's now hitting the stage. And also tonight, we're going to be talking about beauty products. We've been inundated with questions from mostly men asking how they wear makeup without looking like they're actually wearing makeup. Well, to answer that, we've got Armand Beasley. He's going to be in, in a bit. As well as that, we've got our Hayley. This is how tonight's show's looking. Well, now, everybody, we are joined in studio by Mr. Armand Beasley. Now, makeup artist, guru, whatever you want to call him, he's fantastic. And he's brought us in some fantastic products to talk about that, yes, are suitable for men and, yes, are suitable for women. Welcome, Armand. How are you? It's really good to see you. It's good to see you. Look at this table. It's a full plethora of, of fabulousness. Yeah, so I've just got some Essential Six yeah. um, that anybody can use. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, let's talk about skin. Yes. So it's important for your skin to look and feel great. So this one here is called um, The Matrix. Right. And it's by a British brand called Skinergy. I'll show you what it's like. So it comes with a beautiful little dropper like this, and you just need two to three drops. Right. So if I'm going to put some on the back of your hand. Go for it. So let's just pop that on there. Right. And just rub it in. Blend that in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It feels really silky. It does. Yeah, really, really silky. So your skin will feel that beautiful silkiness. Right. Um, I always use it, as I said, at night time, all over the face, avoiding the eye area, and put it definitely onto the throat and the decollete. Mm -hmm. and it'll just help, um, help to retexturize that skin as well. Right. There's no shimmer particles in that whatsoever. Oh, it's got a nice smell as well. It's, it's beautiful. So that's a British brand, and that's Skinergy. Skinergy. Mm. How £65. Lovely. Pounds. It's a little bit on the pricey side. Yeah. But I think um, if anybody's concerned about fine lines or open pores, mm -hmm. then this is a really good product for you. And talking of investing in your skin. Yes. Hey. Look at this. Oh, I love it now. Who designed that, please? No, that was me. <laughs> um, you know, it gives me a warm glow inside when I, um, when I always talk about Pro Body Glow. Um, I designed it because um, for many years as a makeup artist, I've been very fortunate to work with some um, it really interesting celebrities. Mm -hmm. And one of them is the actress Goldie Horn. Right. So I've been working with Goldie, um, for anybody under 40, that's Kate Hudson's mum. <laughs> um, and I used to have to mix a couple of products to get the kind of gleam to the skin that she liked and yeah. that really suited her. And so um, I co-created this with Buzzbound Beauty. Yeah. And it's a 100% natural, high shine nourishing, multi-purpose balm. Yes. So comes with a beautiful little biodegradable um, spatula here as well. Which I like because it reminds me of eating tubs of ice cream. Yeah, don't eat it though. No, no, I don't recommend no. that, no. <laughs> you won't get an inner glow. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> it might just feel a bit sick. Okay. Um, but it's obviously all natural. So six ingredients in here. Yeah. Um, and if I just put it onto the back of my hand, so you yes. can see my hand there. Yeah. 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 I'm just going to pop a little bit on there, like so. And then you just massage that in. And you'll see that kind of gleam to the skin. Yeah. So there's only six ingredients in there. One of the ingredients is frankincense. So if anybody's got any stretch marks or um, they want something that's a little bit more on the anti-aging side, uh -huh. frankincense is an incredible ingredient. Yeah. 
Um, it's also got uh, Milixia in there, which is a hybrid of UK pollen right. and also bee pollen. So UK honey and bee pollen. Wow. And what that will do, it creates um, a beautiful glide to the skin and a gleam to the skin. And it's also conditioning to the skin as well. And we've actually had people, it wasn't designed for this purpose, but we've had people who have suffered with eczema and psoriasis who have said it's completely sorted their skin out. Mm. And it wasn't designed for that purpose. It was literally designed as a cosmetic product. But that must be lovely for you as you develop this to see how things are working and what they actually work absolutely. on. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it constantly surprises me. Um, a lot of makeup artists and hairdressers are liking it as well. Yeah. Um, Hairdressers use it on um, like afro hair yeah. or very, very dry curly hair at the ends of the hair. Really? To give it some uh, moisture. Mm -hmm. And um, it's really good. I like to use it if I'm doing red carpet stuff or men and women. So that's $29.99. Right. You can get it on Amazon yeah. or you can get it on um, probodyglow.co.uk. Brilliant. My little tin of gorgeousness. Pro Body Glow. Yeah. And it is good. Must re gorgeous. I can't recommend that one Aww. enough because it is fantastic. Thank you, love. Thank you. And it's not thick. Because I no, know you're putting not. it on there, it looks, you know, it could look a bit thick, but it actually when it goes on, yeah. it feels it, just lovely. a tiny amount and in the glisten as well. Yeah. I don't know if you can sort of see that. Yeah, there we go. It's it, yeah. the light, yeah. And that will last all day. Yeah. It's good stuff. So then we're moving on to um the face. Yes. So the foundation. As you said, a lot of guys um, are really concerned about using a foundation that is really cakey. Mm -hmm. So with this, this is a BB cream, and a BB cream is like a tinted moisturiser. Okay. So it's lightweight. Right. And then this also has an SPF of 30 right. in here. And it's a broad-spectrum SPF, which means that it protects against um, UVA and UVB. Okay. It's important. So you would apply this before sun exposure, and a little goes a long way. Right. And it's about, I think there's nine shades. And you don't need a lot. And I'm going to put this, um, do you want to try it on your hand? Yeah. Yeah. Not, yeah. So you don't need a lot at all, but it's buildable as well. So if you just massage that in, I'm trying to make a little see that? that? There we are. Rub that yeah. in. Rub it in, is that? Yeah. It's yeah. Good. You just rub that in. It's, be it's buildable, but it also has a blurring technology as well. So if anybody's concerned with um, fine lines, yeah. Um, especially if you're using it around near the eye area, mm -hmm. it's going to be great because it's not going to sit in any lines. And you're right, this would work for men that just basically want to put something on just yep. to take away a few blemishes or something because, well, as you can see, it's, it's, it's very lightweight. Yeah. It has got coverage, definitely got coverage, but it's not got that, well, what I'm basically wearing on my face type of coverage, have it? It's very, very light and... Yeah, it's a sheer to medium coverage mm -hmm. and you can build it up. Lovely. So if you want a little bit more um, coverage in certain areas, just pop a little bit more on. This, I think, retails at £44. Okay. Um, so again, it can be a little bit pricey, but for people that want some sort of um, a, a good coverage to their skin or a, a nice little um, lightweight textured coverage to mm -hmm. the skin, this is a really good investment for you. Then moving on to the eyes. Yes. Now, mascara. I'm always scared of mascara. Why? It just never seems to do what I need it to do. And if it does do what I need to do, it never seems to stay in the right place. Okay. What does it travel up and down? It travels up and down. I end up like I've got little black dots all around my eyes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Is that even with a waterproof mascara? Waterproof mascara, yeah. Okay. Mm. How do you apply it? I know this is a stupid question because people just go, oh, I'll just do this. But That's what do I do. You... But I tend to stretch my eye first. Okay. And then apply it on. Right. Top tip. Yes. And I've got these handy little... Um, bamboo disposables here as well oh. so if you're looking for um any kind of disposable um ones these are brilliant so it's thicker at one end thinner at the other and then you've got this beautiful little um spiky part at the end uh -huh. so you can basically what you can do is you just do that ah oh. so that's how what i would say to you when you're applying your mascara get one of these Look up. Yeah. So if you have your mirror above you, yeah. When you do this, it's almost just scratch it along, kind of. Yeah. It's a brand called Imani. Yeah. Um, not Armani. Okay. Imani. Imani. And uh, they're a vegan brand. And what I like about this, they've actually got um, an ingredient in here which helps boost the lash growth as well. Right. So anybody that's got fine lashes, yeah. Or as you get older, you sort of lose your eyelashes a little okay. bit. This will help to boost the production of the lashes. Keeping with the eyes, yes. we've got um, 
The humble eyebrow pencil. Yes, love an eyebrow pencil. Oh, wow, but this is super thin, isn't it? It is. It's a really thin one. And what I like is you've got on one end, it's like a triangular little um, very thin brush, is piece it? of colour. No, oh. it's actually the actual brow colour itself. Oh. So it's really, really fine. And because it's in a triangular shape, mm -hmm. you've got a very thin end, yeah. and then you've got a slightly thicker end. So what you can do with this, you can create um, almost like lash hairs, eyebrow hairs. Wow. So let me show you on my hand. So you can just do these fine little so they, lines. Is, like is this. this the new trend then, to make yeah. them look as real as possible? Exactly. Well, there you go. So it creates a little bit more yeah. of a natural kind of look. Yeah. So once you've penciled them in very lightly, yeah. on this end, oh. you've got a nifty little brush yeah. as well. And what I like to do with this, get a bit of hairspray, spray the hairspray on that, and then just brush the hairs up. And that will set the hairs in place. And so, yeah, you would just brush the hair over the top then. Right. It's a nice thin brush as well. So, uh, well, that is genius. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely little product. And this is by a brand called Eyebrow Queen, which is Neelan Patel. Right. Um, an incredible brow therapist and also skincare expert. So Neelam has created this range. And I think there may be 12 shades in this. I was going to say, there's got to be some certain shades, hasn't there? Yeah. The blonde, and there's also one called Bronde, which right. is a cross between brown and blonde. Oh. Brilliant. Such a versatile shade. And then finally, yes, to the lips. To the lips. Now, you see God, these God dotted about, but I haven't actually seen them with colouring. I know. So this is a tinted lip balm from Bert, Burt's Bees. It's a really good purchase product, a nice little pickup product. I think they're about $4.99 or $5.99. Uh -huh. So um, very affordable, huge um, spectrum of colours that you can get, but it's only a very faint kind of look. And is there a go-to product for you that you would, you know, without even thinking, you would say everybody should have this in their bag? Yeah. Pro Body Glow. Quite right. There you go. <laughs> That's fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today. Oh, They're absolutely it. amazing I've things. Um, so make sure you check all this out. We're going to put the details on the website as well. And uh, in the meantime, here's our Hayley. Hi, I'm Hayley and welcome to Your Film. A Good Person, starring Florence Pugh and Morgan Freeman, is about two would-be family members struggling with loss and acceptance. This is out on the 24th of March. Transfusion is out on the 3rd of March and it's a thriller starring Sam Worthington from Avatar. A former Special Forces operative battling to cope with life after the loss of his wife and is thrust into criminal underworld to keep his only son. There's a British film called Blue Jean. It's recently hit cinemas just this last week. It's set in 1988 and Thatcher's government is about to pass Section 28. A closeted PE teacher, Jean, leads a double life, and when a new student arrives to threaten to expose her sexuality, Jean is pushed to extreme lengths to hold on to her job and her integrity. This stars Rosie McEwen and Kerry Hayes. That's it from me. I shall catch you next time. And remember, stronger together. Bye. There is no such thing as natural beauty. Oh, honey, time marches on. And then suddenly you realize it's marching right across your face. <laughs> My colors are blush and bashful. I have chosen two shades of pink. One is much deeper than the other. That sanctuary looks like it's been hosed down with Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> Let's get one thing straight. I don't go to the movies because they are all trash and full of naked people. And I don't read books. Because if they are any good, they'd be made into a miniseries. As someone once said, if you don't have anything nice to say about anybody, come sit by me. Right then, moving on to our next and final guest for this evening's show. Uh, taking part in a fabulous production of Steel Magnolias. Now, it was, of course, a 1989 film 
starred a plethora of fantastic actresses, and the stage show is no different. Let me just run some of these names by you. Caroline Harker, Elizabeth Aodelli, uh, Diana Vickers, Harriet Thorpe, Lucy Speed, Laura Main, all on the stage, bringing this fabulous, fabulous show together. And joining us now is the one and only Harriet Thorpe. Hello, Harriet. It's brilliant. How is it, it is. different to the film? Well, interestingly enough, this was written as a play before the film. It was a play oh. off Broadway. And the writer, absolutely brilliant, had written it about a culmination of all the people he knew growing up and his family. And he has never written anything since. And then the film was made, which of course is iconic also. And, you know, it's all about women in a hairdressing salon and love and loss and friendship. And there is that thing we know when we go and get our hair done or whatever we have in those salon type sort of places, venues, we share things, we're regulars. And these people in this town, absolutely, that is where they all connect. And it's funny and upsetting and painful and amusing and devastating. And it just gives you everything. Yeah, I mean, I've not seen the stage show yet, but going back to the film, it was it was bizarrely clever because it, it made you laugh, yep. but also it makes you proper cry as well. Yeah, because there's nothing we don't relate to. We have all experienced love and loss and friendship in our lives, and it strikes those amazing chords all the way through. And I play a character called Weezer, who talks like, she's, you know, it, no, I'm going to New York now. She's a southern girl talks like this and she has she has wonderful lines like i'm not crazy i've just been in a very bad mood for 40 years i mean that's that was for me the iconic character because she <laughs> again she comes across as such a an angry woman but actually when you start tearing it down and you start tearing the story apart you realize that she, she's angry because she's actually hurting would you agree with that yeah she is but she's also got the biggest heart and is mm. wildly funny and <clears throat> is also a great friend as they all are, everyone, you know, we've got those friends who drive us nuts, but we love them. Same thing. Yeah, the, the cast is just, it, it's ex exemplary. I don't use that word normally because I can't say it, but it is <laughs> exemplary. How, how do you feel working with such an amazing, uh, brilliant cast? We all have the most wonderful time. We support each other. We're all there for each other and we laugh endlessly. And it's been like that from the get-go. Watching the film, you perhaps think they were a bit larger than life. When you actually get to, through the film, and indeed I'm sure in the stage show, you realise that they, you do know all these characters. You have met all these people throughout your life. Yes, exactly. And we are in the salon and the whole story covers it. I mean, obviously I wasn't born in the 80s. I, you know, I'm, I'm much younger mm. than that. Yes, um, too, yes. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it just brings that life together. And, and the, it's so funny. It's, 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 it's really going to be a very beautiful night. We're going to come and watch this because yes. we just want to fully witness. And, and we'll come and have a little drink with you afterwards, if that's all right, Standard. my love. Yes, darling. Standard, Absolutely. I know, yes. Uh, yeah. So I want everybody to make sure they book the tickets at the Lowry Theatre, 21st of February um, to the 25th of February, Steel Magnolias. Well, that's it for this week's show. However, on Sunday, we are literally going to the Manchester Museum to see how that place has reopened with brand new exhibitions. So make sure you stick around for that. For now, though, thanks to each and every one of you for watching this week's episode of Your Manchester.